Morning. All right, make sure you guys have your um, spaces set up. Ah. Finding that central channel. Buttock bones plugging down through the chair, chair connecting you to the earth. Eyes closed for just a little bit. Pour the awareness back in onto your own body. Sensing anywhere that you are holding on with tension or grip in such a way that you could soften that. And usually when you relax, it's accompanied with a sort of plumping, like a filling up, an opening of space. So one of the main problems of trying to hold ourselves up with grip and tension is that we're constricting the spaces for the nerve flow, constricting the spaces for the blood flow, and with Parkinson's, that just becomes a totally uh, untenable situation. So when, when there's tension in the body and then you try to move, that, that's a very big problem. So this training of Tai Chi is dropping that out of the system, softening that out of the system so that there is no impediment, obstruction, hurdle to simple things like lifting the arm, moving the hand over here. So the way I see it, uh, Parkinson's folks have to become masters of Tai Chi, essentially, which, is, which means you've dropped out that excess starch and tension and become able to fully operate with the loose, round, fluid body, right? So... With that intention is our opening series of movements because usually we've got tension we don't even know is there. So pull the shoulder blades back, elbows back, lift the head, look up, arch the body, slide the hands forward, drop the head, shoulder blades spread away from the spine, around the body. A few times. This is called Shen Fa or body technique by <clears throat> putting the body through a gesture, movement, through the ranges of motion of the joints, we run into where our body has become habitually stuck, rigid, tense. So that's why the intention is for you guys to be doing this every day. Waking up, sitting, breathing, and then doing shen fa, body technique, before you try to go about your daily tasks. And everyone should do it, but Parkinson's people have to do it, as far as I look at it. Now, the next time you finish rounding, then settle to the middle, rotation. Left hand forward, right hand back, turning, and turn. So we're opening up the turning parts, the rotating parts. <clears throat> Remember to focus on the feeling of softness, not on how far are you turning, right? Because a lot of times people will turn and then really force it, soften, and just see how much turning you can get. Maybe it's just three degrees to the right, three degrees back to the middle, three degrees to the left. And then it can become four degrees and five degrees. But it's got to be soft. It's got to be loose. 
and then back to middle. Arms hang, side lean. As you lean to your right, left wrist just floats up, loose as can be. Lean back to middle, right wrist floats up. Back to middle, left wrist floats up. Lean, lean. And with this same rhythm, start to do the wheel. So as you're lean, the hand that's high goes forward. The hand that's down low comes back a little. That low hand comes up like you're trying to tickle your own armpit. All right, so you see that route that I took. And out. Up like you're tickling your own armpit right underneath. And that's a particular route that the shoulder joint can take arm bone can take but it does so less right we don't often do this shape but it's a very important one it's kind of like swimming in space here and then reverse the high hand comes like you're going to tickle the armpit and comes down the back side as this one floats up in front and then that returns Make sure the hand that goes down goes all the way down, right? It's got to go all the way down so that it can be long when it reach, reaches forward. All the way down so that it can be long. And settle to the middle. Hands on the thighs. Take three breaths here. Do nothing at all. And arms hang by your side, bring your legs closer together. Shoulders go forward, up, back, down. So again, the key here is that the moving part is the blade, the shoulder blade on your back. Slides apart, rises up, slides together, slides down. David, it looks like you're just sitting there. You're not moving your shoulders. Up, back, down. Make sure they go down. And then forward. And then up, back, down, forward. Reverse. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. Round movements. One more. Now, loose arms, they swing a little forward, a little back. Forward, now from the forward position, go out, around behind, and then swing forward. Around, behind, forward. Level two, they swing forward and slightly up, stay flat as they go back, down. Loose, round. Level three, they rise and they keep rising. And reverse, coming back, stay low, around low. And level two, up a little, cross, down. Up a little, cross, all the way down.
level three, up, and they keep coming up as they go over the top. Last one, uh, last one. Bend the elbows. Elbows go down, out, and up. Down. Around in front, squeeze. Squeeze the elbows together. Touch your elbows together. And then down, out, and up. Down, round in front and squeeze, elbows touch, down. Elbows back, down, forward, up. forward. So David, see my elbows. Tony, see my elbows. They're not out here anymore. They're here. They're in close to each other, right? So then when you go up, the elbows go up, the hands go down your back a little bit, and then go forward with the elbows, down, back, down, forward, up. Forward, down, back. Make sure you pull your elbows back, David. Look at the elbows behind the body. Yeah, good. Down, forward, up. Forward, down, back. Down, forward, up. And then just down. Out, palms face the floor, one above, one below. Wrap around, elbows out. Out. Elbows down, 90 degree angle here or thereabouts. Turn your palms down, up, down. Palms up, hands separate from each other. The way this is accomplished, is shoulder external rotation. There's a natural opening of this whole region here. Bring the hands back to neutral. Now, elbows go out, around, and forward so that, right? So the elbows were alongside and now they're around and sort of to the front. My fingers are touching my belly, but not because I'm bending my wrist to do that. My wrists are not bent at all. It's from here, internal rotation. So then this creates a little folding and a closing. Opening. Closing. Opening. Elbows around and to the front as much as you can. So Janet, you can get those elbows around more. Around more. Open. Close. Now open and stay open. Left hand up, all the way across, closing to that side. Open from that side.
Stay here for a moment. Step your feet wide apart so there's a space here in between the legs. Both hands rise up, come towards each other. Now, if I turn sideways, you can see my arms are not in close to my body. They're out. So arms extended out, turn the palms down and let the arms fall between the legs and separate. So this should have you folded, closed, arms internally rotated, cross, raising up, open. Slide all the way down, all the way down. Up, other wrists on top, turn the palms down, all the way down, let them separate between the legs, arms totally straight and loose. Cross, rise, open. All the way down. One more of each, alternating the crosses each time. Stay here, bring arms in, bring legs in, wrist circles, fold over the top, down under and through, over the top, And reverse, underneath, out over the top. Underneath, out over the top. And hands up, spread, gather. Spread, gather. David, my arms are not way out here. Just keep them right in here, comfortable. Spread, gather, spread, gather, spread, and then softly into a fist and open, softly into a fist, open, fist, open, fist, open, bird beak, thumb to pinky. Other three fingers drop on top and bend the wrist down. Bend the wrist back and open the hand up. Bend the wrist down, thumb to pinky. Other three fingers drop on top, bird beak. Back. Again. And monkey paw, it's a little tricky. From this fold, Notice how the fingers are long. So they're not tucked in, they're long. So all three, pinky, ring, middle, and then this like tweezers. So pinky all the way, thumb, uh, ring finger, middle finger, all the way on to the palm, and then tweezers like this. Bend your wrist down, release. So pinky, ring, middle, and drop. Back. Bend the wrist. Back. Good. 
Bend your wrist down, David. And back. Shake it out. Scoop back just a little bit so you're feeling stable. Load. Push. Reload. Down. Load. Push. Reload. Down. Extend your right leg, just a foot, point, flex, point, flex. Invert, evert, a little in, out, in, out. Circles. <clears throat> Switch, point and flex. Invert, evert, a little in, out. Circles. Reverse. Scoot forward on your chair all the way to that front edge. Swivels, lift the ball of the left foot, turn the knee and the toes out, lift the heel a little bit, heel out, knee in. Toe out, knee out. Heel out, knee in. Toe out, knee out. And reverse. In, two, three, four, back. Again, two, Three, four, hold, in, two, three, and other leg. One, two, three, four, and hold, in, two, three, four, hold, out. Both legs open, heels out, knees in, toes out, and in, two, three, out, two, three, in, two, three. Hip distance legs, hands on thighs, forward fold, turn on the hands, so you're getting a nice forward fold and you're internally rotating the arm and then sit upright and turn the arms back to neutral. And then lean a little bit back from the hips. So notice I'm not doing my head, I'm moving the hips back. And then up. <clears throat> and then folding. And up. And tipping back. And up. Up. Now, legs step wider. Dragging takes a bow. As you bow, turn the hands so the elbows are flared out. Down between legs, between the elbows. Up. Turn the arms. Lean back. And up. Dragging takes a bow. Up and lean back. Two more. <clears throat> now, as you're leaning back, tip to the right a little bit as you bow to the right knee. 
Elbows flare, and then sweep across towards the left. Stay to the left as you come back and around. Dragon stirs the seat. And reverse. Neutral. Legs back to hip distance. Arms hang by your side. Wings. Turn the palms upish. Reach. Now from here, reach right arm straight up higher and let it kind of slightly side bend your body and then soften that. Come back to middle. Left arm reaching higher and soften. Right arm and soft. A few more. And neutral, both arms. Reach higher, higher, higher. Higher, as high as you can. And out. Then arms forward. Up. Lift the chest, lift the chin, lift the body. Get a nice, almost gentle, invigorating back bend. And reverse. Hands on your thighs. Three breaths here. Let everything settle. Find your stable middle, right? The idea is that everything will settle to this place deep to the belly, the very center of your belly. When everything else is soft, relaxed, and at ease, Chi just settles and consolidates there naturally. Now, standing up and sitting down. So you slide your feet a little back, hold at the hips, arms, shoulders, and head beyond the ankles. Push through the earth, stand up all the way tall. Push the butt back, sink, find the chair with your butt, and back. Two more. And without sitting in your chair, sink your butt as if, and then push through the earth, stand back tall. Again. One more time on your own. Now that you're standing, let yourself tip into your toes a little bit. Settle back to the middle of your feet. Tip a little bit to your heels. Settle back to the middle. Tip to your toes. Middle. Heels. Middle. Toes, let the arms swing forward. Rock back, let the arms swing back. Toes, arms swing forward. Heels, as the arms swing back, open and float them up. 
rock forward. They slide and sweep around, palms face up. Rock back, elbows bend, the hands come in, bringing to the mouth. Rock to the middle of your feet, hands settle to the middle. Butt goes back, sit like a squat, arms soft and long. Arms stay soft and long as you stand back up. Then you rock back, forward, back, middle, through. Standing back up with less grip. Rock back, forward, back, middle, through. Getting the chi pump through the body. The chi to pump, where it naturally flows. We're just emphasizing that flow. Last one. Shogun, wings, roll, fold over the top, settle, settle, settle down to the middle. Left, right, ginya, arms down, change the weight into your left leg, right wrist floats up, right foot empty, change. Left foot empty, change. 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 All the way. Now the high hand goes out, low hand comes back, wheel. Whichever hand is on its way down, that's the leg you're going into with your weight. Leg you're going into, leg you're going into. Reverse, bring that high hand back as if to tickle the armpit. Go down the back as this one is out front long. Comes back. The hand that's on its way down, that's the leg you're going into. Leg. And Shen Fa, body techniques, movements that induce Desired results in the body. Loosening of tissue tension and an awakening of little mechanics, pivots, moving parts. And lift the right hand up, have it close to the body. You're going to press down with a flat palm. As that presses down, this hand floats up, relaxed and loose. Then it flattens as it gets ready. This one softens. So then there's one flat, one saw, and then they change each time. So see if you can manage that with your brain. One flattening, one softening, and then they change jobs. Whichever hand is on its way down, that's the leg you're going into. Leg you're going into. Walk. 
locking in place, essentially. Finding that mechanism, that internal mechanism of weight change. And now the high hand turns palm up, falls like a leaf as this one floats up. And then that one turns over and falls like a leaf as this one floats up. Left, right, falling. Both hands down, wings, roll, fold, settle to that middle embrace. Hands come down. Now bring your fingertips together, all five. Bring them out in front of you at chest height. Open all the way out. Now, again, I point this out all the time, but I still see people going like this. Notice that I'm not doing that. Here is where you want your arms. So you see they're in front of me, but yet they're way out to the side. So they almost look like they're behind me. But if I turn, you see the fingertips are not behind my the center line of my body. And that's important because I can go back and not actually open, or I can open and not go back. So it's that open that we're looking for. And then it's the opposite of that open that we're looking for, which is this settling in, right? And then this opening, expanding the spongy tissue. Soft. Now we add, when you close, you wanna be in your left leg. When you open, you're going into your right leg. So your right leg is that way. So Janona, I keep thinking that I'm seeing you do this. This is what it looks like to me. You're doing that and I want this open, open. But don't go behind. So turn sideways for me, Janona, turn sideways. It looks like your arms are back here. Am I wrong? I want them here in front more. And while keeping them in front, open them further apart, but keep them in front of your body, right? So keep that as your main goal, is that you're trying to open and close without them. That looks better, that looks better, right? That's open, not back, right? Open. And then that then teaches you to close. And then the open and the close. Now keep that same idea in mind as we drop the hands down to the below sternum above the navel. Open, same idea, opening, not going back behind you. So again, if I turn, you can see my arms are still, hands are in front of the torso. Make sure of it. And then back in. Open, go into your right leg, close. So we're using the ends to pull open the middle in both directions. And that only happens when we open and when we don't go like this, this. It's almost like a sail on a ship. When the wind gets in the sail on the ship, it billows. There's a billowing quality that we're looking for in the body. A few more.
and then the lower, we drop right in front of the groin, open. They keep opening until they end up floating up, but not because you tried to bring them up, but because you were opening, 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 opening. Two more. And shovel. And right arm swinging forward, left arm swinging back. That you look like this. Empty the left foot, the foot of the arm that's behind you, and then change, swing, 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 swing. Addition by subtraction, looser and looser with every round, but not sloppy. So that's the difference is when we're tight, we're under control. And we need to soften that. But then sometimes when we soften, we become just sloppy and flopping our body around. So that what it eventually is, is a mixture of both. The precision of control. And that's why I'm going a little slowly, slowly and loosely trains this quality. And you're just walking in place, swinging. It's... Movement is inducing a little rotation of the waist, a little turning of that fulcrum. And settle. Loose. Option here is you're doing it. When you turn to your right, swivel on the ball of the left foot. Ring the temple bell. Back towards center. Loose. Loose. Open. And release. Butt sits back just a little bit. So both arms up a little behind. We're sinking down. Loose shoulders, loose arms. Free up that place where the shoulder blade meet the upper back, meet the chest. Loose. And then all the way up. And now remember this one we did earlier where we came over the top and we came down and then we went up and open. We did that sitting. Now we put that together with a leg uh, position. Turn your left foot out five degrees. 
shift into it, put your right foot out straight in front of you. So you'll be like this with the feet and arms open. So you're in this position, right foot or front foot is empty. Now shift into your front foot, bring the hands over and that front foot hand goes on top and stay in the front foot, swing, come back up to this cross position and then go into your back foot into your front foot to cross, stay in your front foot, swing, swing back up and into your back foot. Front foot, swing, back foot. Front foot, swing, back foot. Stay here, bring your front foot back, shift into it, back foot front. Now other hand on top. Front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot. One more. Now we'll do one more, just let the arms swing. So you just let them swing. Show home, closing gesture, wing, roll, fold, hands over top, settle, settle, settle. And Tai Chi. Feet parallel, knees open and soft, tail with that space to go down and through, loose arms. Rising hands forward and up. Settle shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingertips down. Back of hands and so one more. Scoop in front, low cradle, down, open. Now, and then settle the shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers follow. Embrace the moon, wing, turn right palm up. As it comes up over, left hand sweeps under. They meet at the top and bottom of the circle. Then they lift and uh, rise and fall towards each other, rise and fall away from each other. Right hand goes over the top, left hand down under till they meet at the wing. And left hand up over, right hand down under. Come meet in the middle. Rise and fall around the circle.
one more of each. Make it easy. Take it slow and go the long way around. Long way around. And down. Bend both elbows, hands come up. Turn palms forward, push. Come around the back, draw. Push. Push, draw, push, draw. One more. Left hand push. As left hand turns to face the body, right hand turns palm forward. Push and draw. As right hand turns to face body, left hand turns to face forward. Push and draw. Left and right hand. Push and draw. Right and left hand. Push and draw. Both hands back, down, left hand behind your back, sweep the leg, turn the hand, brush knee. So left hand behind your back, right hand, sweep, brush, sweep, brush. Now swirl the stream, come around, brush, around, brush knee, around, brush knee. Now the low jumping fish, right hand rises a little, low jumping fish falls into the water, brushing knee, rises a little, comes across, Falls a little, brush. Middle jumping fish, up, cross, around chest height, falls into the water. And high jumping fish. Now, wing, roll, fold, push into the water, brush. Wing, roll, fold, push, brush. Wing, roll, fold. Now listen close, brush knee, turn the hand around, sweep the leg, vapor, cloud, rain, lake, vapor, cloud, rain, sweeping leg, leg turns to vapor, vapor is the cloud, Clouds and then rain. And finally, flying diagonal. This hand down here as the bottom of the big circle goes away from the body and comes up across at a diagonal. Palm turns out. 
sweeps down like a crane wing, sweeps across the lake, bottom of a ball, and it goes away from the body, flying diagonal, up and across. Turn the palm out, sweep down, across, under, flying diagonal. So again, this is unique in that it goes out and rises, comes down. So it's not just one of these, it's this way. Which is a unique shoulder variant in terms of that. And bring that left hand out, wash, put right hand behind your back, brush and sweep. Swirl the stream around in close brush. So Janona, when we go around, we don't reverse. We come all the way around and we are in close to the body, right in front, brush knee. So it looked like you went out and then came back out. So it's out and around and then in close, brush knee through. Out around, far away from the body, but coming back across in close, brush knee. Snatch the low jumping fish, the arm floats a little, comes across low, falls down into the water, sweeps through. The middle jumping fish, you let it lift a little bit, come across, falls into the water. Higher jumping fish. So again, real estate, opening up layers of real estate inside the body with these movements. And then that real estate being open, we can now move inside of it. Wing roll fold, right? So wing roll fold. Falls into the water. Brush knee, wing, roll fold. So the pivots just kind of roll around each other. So movement starts to become easy because we have real estate to just slide around rather than a bunch of tissue tension and stress and strain that's in the way. It's just like water flowing. So the looser, the better but still precise. Now, from here, sweep the leg, vapor, plow, rain. Leg, vapor, plow, rain. And finally, flying diagonal. The bottom of a circle goes forward diagonally and ends up at this corner. Turn the palm out, wing, sweep the lake. And now again, you're at the bottom of the circle. This has a unique path. It goes away from the body and out and around to get to this same corner with the palm facing up. Turn that palm up, Tony. Yeah. Then turn the palm out so you get that little pivot. Sweep down, come across, bottom of a ball. So again, the palm is facing up the whole way, which gives a nice little rotation spiral through the whole arm. Then palm turns out, sweeps down, cross, 
flying diagonal. Finally, bring right hand out, left hand turns to brush knee, right hand is sweep the leg. One brush, one sweep, then they turn around, other sweep, or other brush, other sweep. Turns around, one brush, one sweep, one brush, one sweep. As buoyancy increases in the body, what naturally happens is swirl the stream. Swirl the stream. And as buoyancy continues to increase, what naturally happens is low jumping fish. Again, just more and more of those barnacles loosening in the shoulders and back and body, buoyancy increasing, middle jumping fish. Higher jumping fish. Brush knee and push. Wing, roll, fold, brush and push, wing, roll, fold, brush, push. Pausing here, top hand turns into a cloud, bottom hand sweep the leg, and then vapor and rain. So Janona, switch your hand so your right hand is up. Yeah, there you go. Cloud and lake, vapor and rain. And finally, one more time, let's all end up in the right leg, right hand high, left hand low. Now make a ball. Remember flying diagonal, and this top hand does the opposite. And as you shift and turn, stroking the wild horse's me. Turn left palm out, right palm up. Embrace the moon. So, Janona, from here, right hand high, left hand low, from here, yeah, that, then, turn. Again, flying diagonal with the bottom arm, top arm doing a down and away sort of stroke gesture. Mm -hmm. Stay here, bring sweep the lake, fold over top, flying diagonal, down and away. Turn right palm out, left palm up, embrace the moon. 
Stroke Wild Horses Name. Braves. Last one. Ball. And then wash your paws. Settle back to the middle. Rock back, arms float up. Rock forward, arms cast out. Rock back, bringing in. Rock middle, settling, tail goes back, sink, wash it all the way out. Again, back, forward, back, middle, through. Shovel. Thank you. I have to go. Bye, David. Seal. And Dallas Bow. All right. Thank you, folks. Any questions? Feel free.